My name is Ravi Majedi and I'm trained as an MD-PhD and I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine in the Division of Hematology at Stanford University. I'm Dr. Dan Pollier and I'm an Associate Professor at the University of Colorado where I direct the Clinical Leukemia Program. Doctors Majedi and Pollier are among the authors contributing to the blood review series on leukemic stem cells. The concept of leukemia stem cells in AML in particular has one that's been around for a couple of decades and it has served to be a model disease system for thinking about cellular hierarchies in other uh, blood lineages and blood diseases. The idea that there are normal blood stem cells that are involved in the production of the normal blood system is very well established. It's even clinically applicable to the notion of bone marrow transplantation. But the concept that leukemia organizes itself in a similar way with leukemia stem cells driving the, the disease uh, is one that's a little bit controversial. It's based on experimental observations from many groups. And it has implications not just for the biology and our understanding of how the disease develops, but also for how we think about treating and potentially someday curing this disease. And those were some of the topics that I tried to focus on in the review article that I contributed. My interest is really in translational and clinical uh, research around patients with myeloid malignancies. And so it's my job to take what the, uh, the lab learns and apply it to a clinical scenario in the, in the context of clinical trials and, and novel therapies to really try to move what we understand and know about leukemia stem cells in the lab into the clinic. For a long time, the goal has been to recognize or realize the particular unique features of leukemia stem cells that can be targeted in the clinical setting. And now for the first time in many, many years, uh, we have a drug development pipeline that's sophisticated enough and, and well-developed enough to be able to uh, potentially target some of these really unique features of leukemia stem cells. And I think it's a really important um, consideration when you think about a review series on leukemia stem cells. It's well established now that leukemia itself uh, is arising through multiple different mutations co-occurring in one lineage of cells that then transforms it into a cancer, the leukemia. Um, we and others have explored the concept of how do you get multiple mutations to occur in one lineage of cells and in fact what we found was that some normal stem cells in an individual acquire initiating mutations that we would call pre-leukemic because they haven't formed the disease fully but they're not normal and those pre-leukemic stem cells ultimately acquire further mutations that then gives rise to the leukemia stem cells. So some of their properties are driven by the mutations, some of their properties are likely driven by the cell of origin in which the mutations occurred, and teasing that apart has been a big part of the research effort. The difficulty with, uh, historically with leukemia stem cell biology has been that there are so many similarities between leukemia stem cells and normal hematopoietic stem cells that attempting to target leukemia stem cells preferentially would result in overlap toxicity with normal hematopoietic stem cells. And that was uh, a potentially a disastrous situation where you could wipe out a person's bone marrow. So the interest and efforts have been more recently um, to to determine what are those unique features of leukemia stem cells that do differentiate them from normal hematopoietic stem cells. And some of these differences can be exploited in the clinical setting with novel therapies. The controversy really is whether or not these leukemia stem cells uh, are recapitulated in human disease rather than experimental models. And in fact, it's not clear whether or not leukemia stem cells exhibit the same properties that normal stem cells do in the sense that there can be a lot of more plasticity, meaning they can interconvert their properties, they may not be as discrete, identifiable of a population of cells as what you would see in the normal circumstance. In our opinion, uh, the most promising way forward for such a difficult and complicated and heterogeneous disease will be to find out how we can target the leukemia stem cells. We think that in this new era where we can target leukemia stem cells in the context of clinical trials, that we need some new rules for how to do this. The better we can understand that root cause and then potentially target that root cause, um, the more applicable these treatments can be 
to a wider variety of patients. I think the readers of Blood will be very interested in the topics that we've tried to focus on because the leukemia stem cell model is one that is widely accepted in AML in particular, and people in the field have generally held to the conception that it's critical to learn about their properties in order to target them because we think that will bring clinical benefit to patients. If we are now able to have this convergence between the biological understanding of leukemia stem cells and the ability to target them uh, and, and, and run clinical trials with respect to uh, a disease like AML, I think that it's very easy to imagine next steps in, in other areas of hematology coming very quickly uh, across the board.